number distribution we are told that the distribution of men's height in a classroom measured in centimeter is normally distributed with a mean of 175 centimeters and the standard deviation of 6 squared so the standard deviation here is 6 and the variance is 6 squared find the probability that a man is less than 169 centimeter tall and so we want to apply the principles of the normal distribution. We have been given our mu as 175, our sigma as 6. So we want to find the probability that the person is less than 169 centimeters tall. And therefore, the idea we want to use is we want to transform the normal distribution to the standard normal using this formula. This is what we call the standard normal distribution and why do we want to write it in standard normal so that we can use the statistical tables to get the value Stat statistical tables to get the value so that's why the transformation will be necessary to put it in an interval of the standard normal distribution so therefore we have probability of Z less than 169 minus mu 175 all over 6. And this is probability that Z is less than negative 1. So the next step is to put this into the standard normal diagram. And we want this area. And uh, according to the table, what's the area? The area is 0 0.1587, the shaded part. And that is the probability that a man will be 169 centimeters or less. Now the probability that X is greater than 190, which is the probability Z is greater than 190 minus 175 divided by 6. Remember we said that Z is equals to x minus mu divided by sigma. So when we put down this, it helps us to be able to compute the values. Probability that z is greater than 2.5. Again, we come to the diagram, just a sketch to give us an idea of what we need. I put 2.5 and I want greater than. And if I go to my statistical tables, this will give me 0 0.0062. So there is a very low probability that you'll find a man who is more than 90 centimeters. Saying that uh, the centimeter is 175 with a standard deviation of 6 centimeters. So that is what the question is saying. So we'd expect the past, most people to be between 169 and 181 centimeters. That is where majority will lie. We want to find the probability that a person lies between 169. To be probability 169 minus 175 divided by 6 less than Z less than 190 minus 175 over 6. So it will be because probability negative 1 is less than Z is less than 2.5. And so you come again to the diagram. This is always the guiding point. You put your values and you want now to find which part are you interested in. And if you get the part, then you will be able to easily find the probability. So there is a 83.5 chance that a man will have a height of between 1.169 centimeters and uh, 190 centimeters. Now for number two, we are told that if Z is normally distributed with a mean of zero and the standard dev deviation of one, we find a number of probabilities. And this is what we call a standard normal. Standard normal distribution. If I had said X is zero mu over sigma, this is the normal distribution. And for you to move from normal distribution 
to standard normal which is z of 0 1 and this is x of mu sigma what you do is you standardize using the formula so that is where you have to standardize your normal distribution and so we say you standardize with z is equals to x minus mu over sigma so if you move you come here you'll end up there so that is what we have been doing but now what you have been given the first example it was a normal distribution in the second example it is a standard normal that's why in the first example you use x and then it transformed to z but this time we have been given the z so if you are told to find probability z is less than 1.2 what you do is you go to draw a curve then you get your normal distribution table 1.2 and therefore uh, this is less than so less than 1.2 it means it is this part plus this part and so you need to find out what is your 1.2 is 0 0.3849 and we know that this part is 0 0.5 so this i can comfortably say 0 0.8849 as the answer to that using your standard normal table can think of another example we find probability of z less than negative 0 0.5 again we come here we make a sketch of what we need. I can put negative 0 0.5 there. I need to find this. So the thing I go to find is this. I look for 0 0.05, which is 0 0.1915. And therefore, this will be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1915. And that's the procedure. And this will give me 0 0.3085. We could also get one more uh, probability of z greater than 0 0.8. So what we do is we come here and then we put 0 and then we put 0 0.8. We want greater than. Now if you go to your tables, the one I'm using and look for the value of 0 0.8, it will give you that which is 0 0.2881. So for me to be able to get the shaded part, it will be equals to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2881. And that will give me the value of the part that I'm interested in. So our third example given z to be a standard normal, find the z value for which the area to the left of z is 0 0.2119 so the first thing we want to do is we want to make a sketch and uh, what we know is that area is on the left is this side so it should be the area i'm interested in should be this it should be 0 0.2119 now if I go to the tables, I should be able to get this, and this should be 0 0.2881. Now, when I go to my statistical table and look for 0 0.2881, it tells me that this point should be so 0. Point, so the value of z should be equals to negative 0 0.81. So the question is probability that z is less than negative 0 0.81 should be equal to 0 0.2119. That's what the question is asking me in other terms. Invoices at a particular depot have amounts which follow a normal distribution with a mu. That is a mean of 900 and a standard deviation of 50. What percentage of invoices will have an amount above 1,000? 
is what is the probability that x will be greater than 1000. So we want to transform this to a standard normal. 1000 minus 900 all over 50. And we are looking at the probability that z is. And so what we do as usual is we put in the table, uh, the normal distribution curve, and we shade the part that we require. And if we do that much, it will be 0.0179. Now, because I know this part will be equals to 0 0.4821. And so for me to get uh, this part, it will be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4821. And uh, if you do that, you find that uh, that will give you the answer to that section. Part B, about what amount will 8.23% 8 8 of invoices lie? And this is what we are interested in, which is 900. Where will 80% of the invoices lie? So we want to find out where will this be? So we want to find out this amount. That's the question. 80%. Where will they lie? The few others will lie on neither, but where will they be? So that's the question we want to be able to answer. So we want to find probability that x greater than a certain amount a should be equal to 0 0.8023. So if I transform this, it will be probability of Z is greater than A minus 900 all over 50 is equals to 0 0.8023. Now, we go to the statistical table and read in the value of Z, 0 0.83. So what we have is, we already know that uh, this is 0 0.5. This is known. What we don't know is this, but 0 0.3023. And what will be the value there? So if we look for 0 0.023, 0 0.023, it will be 0 0.85. It will be negative 0 0.85. So I can comfortably see probability Z greater than negative 0 0.85 is equals to 0 0.8023. Now, there's a relationship between this part, this component, and this component here. That's what we are saying. Therefore, I can equate them. I can say A minus 900 all over 50 is equals to negative 0 0.85. Therefore, A is equals to 50 times 0 0.85 plus 900. This will be equals to, remember there is a negative, negative 42.5 plus 900. 857.5. So, any amount, 857. So, what we are saying is this, that 80.23% of invoices will have an amount of 857.5 and above. And that is true. We can show that to be the case. Uh, let's go through it again. So what we are saying is probability of x greater than 857.5 is probability of z greater than 857.5 minus 900 all over 50. And equals to probability z is greater than negative 42.5 over 50 which is probability of Z is greater than negative 0 0.85.
and because it's greater than we'll be looking at this part and that shaded part will give us 0 0.8023 and so that's the question that we were trying to answer with that information above what amount will 8.23 percent of the invoices lie thank you for watching please press the subscribe button and continue watching my videos